Madam President, first thing I would say in, in response to Senator Boxer's eloquent uh, uh, faith-based conclusion is, amen, sister. Uh, second, I would say that in the last two or three hours, we, we've, uh, we've begun this very, very important debate. And uh, you can see the, the different arguments forming. They're, they're serious arguments. They're important arguments. So I, I appeal to our colleagues uh, on both sides of this issue, regardless of whether or not you've decided to support the bill, uh, vote for cloture on the motion to proceed so we can finally have the kind of debate from which we will all learn and from which the, the American people will take some uh, encouragement that we're dealing with this problem. I, it's obvious that one of the main arguments, perhaps the main one about our proposal, will be its cost. But I, and, and this is an important issue which we want to discuss. Um, the part that I, that I respectfully uh, take issue with is those who call this a tax increase. It is not a tax increase. Um, w w Senator Warner and I had some choices to make. One was to do nothing. We rejected that. I suppose if you still feel we should do nothing, that's, of course, you, you want to come out and argue for. When we decided we had to do something, we had three choices. One was a carbon tax. We rejected that. One, because we don't think it's viable here. Two, it doesn't guarantee that you're really going to reduce uh, carbon emissions. Second, we had an old-fashioned command and control option. Mandate that this happens. Control everything. Um, we rejected that uh, as well uh, because it's inflexible. Third choice was a market-based choice. Set the general ground rules, mandate a reduction in the cap, but then leave it to the market. The fees that are raised under this bill are voluntarily accepted by people who decide they need to buy allowances. This is not a tax increase. We rejected a tax increase. I thank the chair.